For those who don't know, I share a birthday with the one, the only, Stephen Tries. And last year, when he turned 26, Chris made the conscious decision to buy him, and not me, a present for every year he had been alive. So, I had to just pick one of them. Welcome everyone to this momentous occasion on which we celebrate Stephen Tries making it to 26 years on this earth. So this year, for Chris's 26th birthday, I decided to do the same, but with the intention of revenge. I sat down and made a list of things Chris enjoyed, things he hated, and his biggest insecurities. Unfortunately, this left me a few presents short, so I called on some of Chris's friends for ideas. Okay, come on in. Now. Now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Why is the 26 the wrong way around? Well, on this camera, <laughs> yeah. it's the right way around. No, it isn't. That's not how it works. Well, we're off to a great start. <laughs> so if I flip it around again, that's going to be the right way to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and here are 24 of your presents. Are you ready? <laughs> I don't know. Number one, we're going to start with a nice one. Okay. It's a nice little present just to get us, get the ball rolling. Everyone knows on this channel how much you love one thing. Doesn't look like VR porn. I don't find you funny. It's Biscoff flavoured alcohol. Oh my Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Should we move on? The next present comes from a nice little guest. Someone who has sent in a video oh, message. I, oh no, I forgot that you us. had other people involved. <laughs> oh no. Hi Shannon. When I first saw you DM me, I thought, yes, she's left that little elf and is looking for a place to stay. Um, sadly, that wasn't the case. Since then, I've picked a present. A good, much needed present, might I add. It is a chunky sole shoe from ASOS. I mean, Chris is getting at least two to three inches here, <laughs> which is a happy birthday in anybody's book. Although it is £38, but can you put a price on him being able to see over the counter at pret a -Manger? I don't know. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you, Stephen. What are these? They don't look awful. No, no, they do. I saw them from the side. <laughs> or would you like me to find you a box? This is just one from me to you. So this is just you, no input from No me. input from anyone else, just me, this one. Oh. Well, there's a little Good. input from someone. Okay, this is the mug. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Oh, why can I see nothing at all? What, are you telling me that I put these on for nothing? <laughs> right, there's been no conversation before this. I'm so sorry. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, Jesus. I want to get him something that will remind him of a torrid time of his life and something that every time he puts this on he will think wow Theo is superior to me. <laughs> I, I want to get him an Arsenal top. Oh okay, we can do that. On the last day of the season last year he was 54 points, 44 points ahead of me in FPL. He came back with like a 50 point deficit over to Chris which put him in the bottom two which was very expensive for him. I just want something to help him be reminded of that day. I'll sign it love Theo. Not even signed by Theo. Never forget. This is going to be something related to the fact that I live in that man's head rent free. Right it's an Arsenal shirt and what does it say on the back? 44. What's 44 stand for? It's yet another goal for Nicola Pepe. Thanks, mate. This one's a little something from me because I'm just so tired of you taking so long to do your hair. It doesn't look like the picture. <laughs> that's what it's supposed to look like. It just needs styling. Okay. Oh, that's so much better. You ready? Yes. Hang on a bit. Close your eyes. I mean your ears. <laughs> As in go like this. <laughs> right, so this is present six and seven. Somebody got you two gifts. Hello, Chris, you short little goblin man. Uh, have a great birthday. I thought, you know, I'd buy you a little present, a little bottle of Prosecco and something to drink it out of that I know you're gonna love. So, uh, happy birthday. Goblin man. <laughs> At least Stephen went with Elf. That was a bit more respectful. Wow, he shouldn't have. Well, hopefully you'll enjoy something to drink out even more. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> I have my very own Europa League goblet. Because <laughs> I'm a goblin. Do you want to know how much this cost me? Guys, this is plastic. Simon picked this out from eBay and everything. Have a guess how much it cost me. 30 quid. 54 pounds. What? No. <laughs> 54 uh. pounds. I was expecting at least to be fucking metal. Let's cut to the brand deal now. <laughs> Let's Please. Cut the brand deal. Sponsored by number 10 clothing. <laughs> no, Thank no, you, Chris. No. <laughs> Next present. Oh 
Oh, it's so shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. I thought maybe we'd go somewhere like down a nice little route for this one. It's quite a nice present, I think. Oh, it's fluffy. <laughs> oh, like, I can see some of my old thumbnails already. That's upside down. You are right. This is a blanket with every thumbnail from the past 12 years of the videos that have done the best. So like your best videos performing that year. Oh, like for that year? For that each year, year, each the year. Best video. Oh, wow. The best video. Wow. Wait, how many years are there? 12. Wait, so this is from 2010? Yeah. We're not uploading YouTube videos for 12 years. That was still a virgin at that point. Still a virgin until <laughs> still that Still then as well. <laughs> yeah, no. That is awesome. You're I will welcome. genuinely treasure that. <laughs> Sidemen Campbell. <laughs> Simon's testicles, Simon's testicles. Yes! <laughs> no, I don't want to smell it! Hello, Callum. Thank you very Whoa. much. I think I have probably the most useful present for him. One that I think out of all 26, this will be the one that he is most excited about and also he will use the most. Tell me, I can't wait. A height increasing shoe insole. And they even do a version in leopard print so he can have a leopard print insole. I think that's all he's ever wanted in life. This is something that he will use on a day-to-day -day basis. So you're telling me he comes around to watch football, he takes off his shoes, he's got a leopard print insole inside his shoe. You just go, yeah, fair enough, Chris. Nothing else gets I said say, about it. I respect my tall king. <laughs> and then he takes my his shoes off king. and he's seven centimeters meters shorter. No, because the, the trick is to take your shoes off while you're sitting down. Well, I can't wait to see his reaction. I'm sure he's going to be buzzing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> There's just no space for my foot. <laughs> is it I have a, Not at all. Literally feel like my foot is being squished by some sort of industrial machine. Sit down. That's a huge boost to my confidence. <laughs> I feel like I can do anything. I know you are going to love this one. We're going to see the F1 this weekend. And on that note, here's something to wear to it. Oh boy. <laughs> it's gone far! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine us in the paddock. <laughs> Hello, Gunther. <laughs> nice to I'm meet you. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> Don't make it weird. Look how happy he looks. <laughs> oh, why is that actually a good present? <laughs> Best present so far? Like, easily. <laughs> present number 11 is from the man himself, the man, the myth, the legend, Arthur TV. Hello, Arthur. Hello. Hello. How are you? Welcome back. Thank you. Long Honored to be reinvited again. <laughs> Did you see the video uh, that Chris brought? Stephen tries to create presents for Chris's birthday. Stephen and I share a birthday, and Chris decided to buy him 26 presents. I completely understand where you're coming from. The the not being a boost to the click through rate hurts. <laughs> You know when I did a video with Harry, Chris, and Simon? Yeah. He put himself, Harry, and Simon in the thumbnail, and then Simon again. So Simon was in the thumbnail twice, and I wasn't in it at all. So yeah. I get the pain. Well, I think the best way to go about this is what are his deepest insecurities? <laughs> what would actually hurt him? <laughs> The way we were hurt when he didn't make the videos about us. When we were really young, I remember having a sleepover and we were just talking about things that really freaked us out. When Remus Lupin yeah. in Harry Potter mm. and the Prisoner of Azkaban turns into a werewolf, he was like, that image traumatizes me more than anything. So you know what would be quite a good one? A good print of that. Because I think that would probably terrify him more than anything else. So find the scariest screenshot of Remus Lupin as a werewolf. And how do you need to sign it off? Love Arthur? Or I hope this terrifies you? Just put sweet dreams. <laughs> Love Arthur. Well, thank you, right. Arthur. No worries. Thanks for having me on. Arthur's dug deep for this, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually so funny. Oh, I'm getting sweaty. Right, when I was a child, this werewolf traumatized me. In a strange way, that's very thoughtful. Thank you, Arthur. I do believe this one is from your dear old friend and editor, Connor. Oh, wow. See, obviously Arthur has lots of years that he can delve into. Yeah. Connor has lots of footage. Hey, Chris, it's your editor slash cameraman slash Video saver, I guess you could call me. Happy birthday, Christopher. 26, you old fuck. You're one of the nicest, friendliest, kindest human beings I've probably ever met. So from someone who was a, originally a fan to now, hopefully a friend, happy birthday, mate. Now, on to what I want to give you. See, like, 
I know you're a massive fucking nerd, and I know you love the Lord of the Rings, and I know you love a bath. Don't ask me how I know. We're gonna leave it there. We're gonna pause How it has there. Connor brought more charisma into a 30 second <laughs> video than I have over my entire 12 years of YouTube? Give it a little open, and then we'll play the rest of the video and he can explain it. Cause playing ducks. It's a fucking dip Gimli duck. This is what I'm gonna get you, cheeky little Gimli rubber ducky. <laughs> God, I know you so well. Whose company is this? Present number 14. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? What have we, what have we got here? But it's, it's Ollie's ass. <laughs> it's his ass again. Ollie's ass is in my life far too much. Oh, I feel sorry for whoever's company had to produce <laughs> this. Oh, I see. A couple of things that I thought of was, are there any cameos that might be good? Like, I, I, I was thinking if you were going to be nice, like either a football or Marvel type one. If we had money, Nick Frost would be perfect. You know how much um, we both love. Oh, um, that's actually quite a good one. In Ledger, right? Yeah. Just the Jamie's. Pounds. Yeah. But I feel like he yeah. would really love it. Do you want to send me some stuff for him to say, and then I can request it and send it on to him? Oh yeah, There's, I've got so many in inside jokes, poppers ones that I can think of. But let me just think up the best. Okay, perfect. Awesome. That sounds great. Thank you so much, Ollie. Please open your eyes and enjoy your present. Ollie wanted me to sign off. Love, Ollie. <laughs> really original. Happy birthday to you. Oh my God, what? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chris from Ollie. Happy birthday to you. Hooray. <laughs> Congratulations, you're turning 26, you lucky shit. <laughs> I need to remind you to water your, your Japanese peace lily and uh, you got to drink a bit more cranberry juice. <laughs> Doesn't even sound anything like Danny Butterman. What was my favourite part of Hot Fuzz? Um, <laughs> honestly, tons of it. It was great. It was a lovely thing to do. Uh, is it true there is a place in a man's head that if you shoot it will blow up? Remember that. Um, have a bit of cake and uh, enjoy your birthday. Bye. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> He's made no notes. He's gone. All right. <laughs> yeah. On. <laughs> yeah. For two hundred pounds. <laughs> two hundred pounds. <laughs> this is from your pal Ollie. Bye. Brave. I know that you both like to do puzzles, so maybe <laughs> this is a, a mutually beneficial puzzle. It's a map of Middle Earth okay. as a 1,000 piece jigsaw. Oh, I so love I that. Fantastic. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a puzzle of Lord of the Rings. Why would I want that? I was a fucking loser. I'm not looking forward <laughs> to doing the middle of <laughs> the Bay They're of Belfalas. I'm just going to put it on bed for a bit. I'm just going <laughs> to... Don't take away my goblin friends. From what? To... French. You? Toi. Toi. Uh, I hate your little face, but I don't think you do presents. Oh, is it my size gun? Yeah. Oh, sick! I was actually thinking of getting one of those the other day. I know. I bought this ages ago when you were complaining that your back was hurting. Oh, from carrying your channel from so much. carrying my channel That's so, so much. lovely. My skull's vibrating. <laughs> Sorry. There's one for the thumbnail. Oh my goodness me. What are you using that for? Don't answer that. From who? What? It's just for, you know, when you can't, you know. It is a beard growth oil booster. I did consider growing a beard for a little while. And then I saw how it looked on camera. This one is from me and Smudge. Oh. <laughs> He's not in there. Good. That is horrifying. That is absolutely horrifying. God, he looks butters in that. <laughs> Imagine just going off to him. No, no. Oh, yeah, I can get his face. <gasps> oh. <coughs> oh my god. Why did you do this? Oh, me. Oh. Well, he didn't like that at all. Not like that. Not, not one, one bit. bit. Here's the thing with this one. I had the exact same idea as somebody else. Okay. <laughs> yes. I've almost got the set. Oh, it's Gollum. Oh, good. Girl scary, though. My girlfriend thinks 
Gollum. And my editor thinks Gimli. Simon thinks Goblin. <laughs> Stephen thinks Elf. I've got a fairly clear picture of how the world sees me today. He's holding a fish and everything. Look at his loincloth. I do not <laughs> like that one bit. That is horrific. Please burn that. <laughs> We're on gift. I think it's a 17. So like the imagination was going and there wasn't there wasn't a lot left. Churros. Oh, that sounds Churros. quite also horrible. <laughs> Tastes nice, actually. That's that's much nicer. Now your second virtual gift is from your good pal, Calyx. I have just the present. <laughs> I thought that I would buy him something really special and quite timely because over the last couple of days when this has been recorded, Arsenal haven't done that well. So I thought I'd get him an experience. And my uh, experience is uh, the Tottenham Hotspur Dare Skywalk. I think it's like abseiling off the top of like Tottenham Stadium. Okay. But it's called the Tottenham Hotspur Dare Skywalk. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, we're on it. The Dare Skywalk. Yeah. Are you ready? Question mark. I don't yeah. think I am. He's definitely not. Perfect, he'll hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. You may open your eyes. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for Carlux. What do we, do we, do we have to do that? Oh. <laughs> How about, yeah. to keep up with the Spurs theme, we bottle it and don't go. Let's go. Take it all in. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> it's quite a nice stadium, actually. Yeah. Don't film that. <laughs> okay, so we can't take the camera up with us, but I'll be able to record you when you're at the top shooting yourself. Great. You get to see the iconic golden cockpit that watches over the stadium up close. To see if you are up for the challenge, we are excited. Absolutely buzzing to get up there. I'm gonna thank luck. And throw myself off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop before you say something you regret. So smooth. Well done. We made it to the top. What did you think? We just went all yeah. the way up there. It's very cool. Have a nice view of a decent football stadium. You can see the Amrits really well from here. Just uh, he's made that joke three times today. Southwest over there. That white one. It was a fun experience, but um, I don't feel like it was anything new because I'm very used to looking down at Tottenham. So we might now do this thing, which is where you hook yourself on here, I really like and then them. literally just okay. drop down. I can't even down there. Let's yeah. do it. Come on, let's go. So basically, we just. Came down the edge. Oh look, this person's gonna go. It's the adrenaline rush of just like holding on, holding on, holding on, and then all of a sudden being like totally letting go. Oh it's yeah, like... and your life totally being in someone else's hands. Yeah, Very I enjoyed good. it. Good yeah. present, Cal. Thanks. We're back. This is so. When I say half the stuff that I say, you actually understand it. God, Shan, read us some of the classic timeless one-liners from Friends. Oh, this is actually a good one. Welcome to the real world. It sucks. You're gonna love it. It's good stuff, guys. <laughs> That was quite fun. You don't own a TV. What's all your furniture pointed at? So, actually at the beginning of this video when we started recording, you made a bit of a funny noise, which you make quite a lot. Wait, I did? Yeah, which the viewers won't know about because it will be cut out of most videos. Hi guys, we're just editing the video and we realised that Shen doesn't actually have the footage of me making said noise when we were recording because I did it before we turned the cameras on. So she's asked me to, to do a sample for you guys. <coughs> that was... Honestly, one of my best as well. So this is to help with that. Ooh, a nasal rinse bottle. So apparently, you squeeze it up one nostril and it comes out the other. That sounds horrific. Off we go. Your upper body leaning forward, two down, <laughs> and with head slightly leaning to one side. <laughs> Hold bottle upside down and gently insert the tip. <laughs> no problem with fitting this up these giant nostrils. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Right, here's the other one. It's some cursed footage. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Shadow Lighten channel if you've never been before. Like and subscribe. How many more? Just two more. Ah, oh, oh, we're almost there. I respect how the brand's called <laughs> literally has poo in its name. Yeah, poopery. Poopery. Like, is that it a poopery? Kind of What's potpourri? And your very last present, which I've saved Ooh. to the end. Yes. The big one. No, he's not in there. <laughs> You're such a loser. <laughs> of course, they won't be able to read that because it's the wrong way around. I feel like I need this the most after <laughs> the last hour. What a haul. Well, there you go. 26 presents. Do you know what? I, I actually like the werewolf thingy. I think that is just really funny. I respect presents that are just really thoughtful, but 
designed to harm. <laughs> you know what? The effort that's gone into this video, all I can say is well played. The present that annoyed me the most, probably the Europa League from Simon. Worst present is the heel implants that don't fit from Cal Freezy. Yes. Just, you could have gone the extra mile to make sure that they fit me. Well, I did you know. order I did order the right size. Yeah. So clearly your feet are just smaller than you tell everyone. 